Guys, it's the weekend. I'm usually out fishing, but I have to get this out to you guys. A website, an affiliate marketing website, just sold online for a massive $102 million all cash deal. And I wanna show you in this video the exact website, how it makes its money. And I wanna show you the timeline from when the website actually started to where it is now, because I think this is absolutely amazing. If you don't know what I do, I make a lot of my money online by building websites that make money with affiliate marketing. And this website, I've actually been following it since it started, and it does exactly what I do to make my money. So it's really, really interesting, and I teach a lot of this affiliate marketing stuff on my channel. So I thought you guys might like this as well, and I really wanted to share it with you, because it just shows you how much digital assets can be worth, like websites, domain names, and things like that, if you actually build them up and turn them into a real business. They can be worth a lot of money. And remember guys, I reply to every single one of your questions. We did have some problems with spam, but we've sorted that out. So if you have any legitimate questions, let me know below and I'll answer all of your questions. I usually do it within 48 hours of the comment going live. So let's jump into this video guys. Right now, I'm gonna show you a website that just sold for $100 million. All right guys, check this out. So the last time I talked about a website that sold for a lot of money was called The Wire Cutter that sold for $30 million back in around about 2016. And I thought that was a huge amount of money for affiliate marketing website. But there's another sale that recently just got confirmed for $102 million. So back in 2016, the New York Times bought The Wire Cutter. You can go find information about that online. But the one I want to talk about today is a website called The Penny Hoarder. And this is an affiliate marketing site and they make money with other ways as well, but mainly affiliate marketing that just sold for $102 million. Now we're going to get into the details in a second, but I actually want to show you the website to show you what it is and how it makes its money and show you the timeline of this website from start to finish, when it started, what it looked like and all that sort of stuff. Because a lot of people think that they need to make a website look nice from the start and put a lot of work but not this website. So this is the pennyhoarder.com and it's a pretty big website. It obviously just sold for a lot of money. Um, now we'll talk about what it makes per month in a second, but what they do is they're an affiliate marketing website. So they essentially write reviews on products, they write about things and they have programs that, that they make money from. For example, people will come to this website and put in their email and they can promote things via email marketing which is the first sign of monetization from this website. Now, what we can actually do is um, we can go and click on, say, make money and work from home. And these guys have got everything categorized nicely. So when someone comes into their site, they, it's easy to navigate. And then they've got all of their articles here. So they write articles. Um, but if we go down here, uh, seven, 32 legit ways to earn money online, and there's another email pop up there. The website's a little bit slow actually, which is quite um, unusual. Usually it should be a little bit faster. But if we go down to on this website, you'll see that they have links here. These are affiliate links. Now, what a lot of people don't realize, this website makes huge amounts of money per month. I'll tell you how many, how much it's made in the last 12 months in a second. I know the exact number. But the, oh look, here's some more affiliate links here. So these are some of the um, affiliate links that when people click these links and sign up, they get a commission. So there's really lots of um, things that you can get affiliate things for. So if we actually click on bank accounts here, the site's really slow. If we click on bank accounts, um, the 13 best online banking for uh, banks for checking and savings accounts, usually they can sign up as an affiliate to banks as well, or a site this big can get special um, deals with banks where they get commissions or something like that, right? Once again, if people click on these links, not all of these links will be affiliate links, but if people click on these links, these guys could potentially get some sort of commission or kickback from these banks. So there's lots of ways that you can make affiliate marketing commissions. And when you're a site this big, people come to you. You don't have to go to them. So whether it be a bank or a shop or anything, they really want you to promote their product, okay? What I do wanna show you is actually the steps from start to finish, and I think this will open your mind to the timeline, because a lot of people think that you have to have skills to have a nice site. So this website started in 2010, so not a bad profit margin for 10 years of work, 
considering they've made millions of dollars before the sale. Um, but what you'll see here is I can actually go onto these dates and I can have a look at the website. On the first year that it started, this is what it looked like. So it was a terrible looking website, probably pretty good looking for 2010, but not really because I had sites back then that looked better than this. But you'll see that it did not look very good. They just literally started writing content. There was no nice web page or anything like that. Now, as we get up to kind of like, I think it was like 2015, we have a better looking website. So it gets better over time. As you make money, you can afford to do some extra coding or to get a custom theme. You can afford to start changing your website to look better. Okay, so you start really, really small, like you have a tiny budget. This guy was in $50,000 of debt. Then it changed to this, okay? Uh, it looks really, really nice. Then it changes to the website that you just saw, which was this one right here. So it evolved as time went on over that 10 year period. And I'm sure it looked a lot different on a lot of these other years. Now let's get into some of the stuff here, the money. The um, Penny Hoarder just sold to a company called Sykes Enterprises for $102 million. I think it's an all cash deal. No stocks or anything involved in that. So all cash deal, right? I'm pretty sure I read there was an all cash deal, maybe in here. Um, however, if we look at the stats here, the Penny Hoarder had a $50 million in revenue on a trailing 12-month basis as of September 30th, 2020. Um, and I actually checked. This website doesn't get a whole lot of traffic compared to other websites online. It gets a lot of traffic, don't get me wrong, millions and millions of views, but not a lot compared to other big websites out there. Now, another interesting fact a lot of people think you need money to start something like this. The founder of this website, or I'll say business now because it's a business, he had $50,000 in debt when he started. You can start a website for like $8 per year for the name, and I think it's like $3 per month for the to host the website to go and start your own affiliate marketing website. All right, guys, I just want to quickly show you this because this is amazing. I'm a big fan of this website. I followed it for years. We even have backlinks from this website to our own website. And I just want to show you what's possible. Um, obviously, $100 million is like once in a lifetime thing. I don't think, um, you know, a lot of affiliate marketing websites will never, ever, ever sell for this much. This is out of the ordinary. But we actually have an affiliate website right now that's been valued at over a million. Uh, we're not selling it or anything, but it's been valued at that. So it is definitely possible to get six, seven figures, to build up six, seven figures, uh, affiliate marketing blogs that are worth that much. So it's a really good lucrative business if you can get into it. Even if you make a blog and you sell it for like $50,000, it's pretty good because you are making money while you're building up that blog. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was really, really cool. If you want some more videos on how you can make money with affiliate marketing, I'll leave some videos up on the screen that you can watch right now. They're completely free. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Tap that notification bell so my next video comes out. Any questions, leave me know below. And I'll see you in one of the videos on the right.